All right, so I'm actually not talking about Dragon, if that's what you're expecting, but um, <laughs> I'm talking about uh, Link at. Uh, so this is a problem that I learned about, someone complained to me about it eight years ago, and I was like, okay, I'm trying to get into kernel development, so this will be a quick thing. <laughs> it's, and it's been eight years. All right, <laughs> yep. Um, so the, the problem is, how do you replace a file atomically? Meaning, how do you have a file on disk such that a process either sees the contents A or contents B? The kind of canonical way to do this now uh, is you create an OTEMP file, you populate it, then this assumes you don't have the, the privilege, in which case you can do a slightly shorter version of this, but if you don't have privilege, then you can link it at or sorry, link it into a temporary name, and then you rename that temporary name into the new name, and then you can. I didn't say durably. <laughs> I made no promises of that. Uh, I just. Uh, so we'll get into the, to the F sync versus this in a second, but um, I just want to. I, I, at runtime, I want the process to see either contents A or B. Uh, so. The problem with this is if you crash here, your file system happened to like sync in between the, if you happen to sync in between here and here, then you left behind this, this uh, file.temp garbage around and maybe next time you go and try this thing, I have the same bug here, uh, then you try to do this link at and it fails or whatever. So now you need a cleanup thing that checks for that and it's not very nice. Uh, so the, the patches that I've sent a few times over the years basically add something to link at that says replace the destination. Um, we can bike shed whether this is this should be a rename variant or a link at variant, but this is what I sent up. Uh, so I have a list of, of people who have asked for it. Uh, like I said, I first heard about it in college. I guess it was almost nine years ago now, uh, and. Uh, various people have brought it up over the years. Dave Howells, who uh, brings it up whenever he sends an FS cache thing. Uh, and I've tried a few times. The last time I actually sent patches for it was 2018, and then for, in 2020, we, there was a discussion on, uh, which is proposed for LSFMM, but uh, that was the year that we did not have LSFMM. So, the questions that I have is, first of all, do we, we agree that this sort of primitive is useful? Uh, I think so because, and I've run into it. Go ahead. The ask is, what's wrong with the first version? It leaves, it's, it's not like a world ending thing, but it has this like, you have this temporary name which is not the most elegant thing. Um, so. You, you, you left this yep. Yeah, so like I said, it's not the end of the world, but uh, Christian? Uh, no, I, my question was why, uh, what was the reason that, uh, what were the reasons given that it wasn't merged? I mean, in, I know we sometimes <clears throat> take a long time to respond, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, over the multiple uh, years that it has been sent, what was brought forward? Yeah, they, so uh, there, were, there were a few questions about semantics that no one could agree on, basically. So the, the first one was whether it should be limited to OTEMP file or not. Uh, the at its the actual problem that I'm trying to solve is only applies to OTEMP file, but uh, it's it's also completely feasible for the file system to implement link at where it clobbers the destination, uh, even for a file that already has hard link to it. So no one no one could agree on whether um, that mattered or not. I don't care either way. Uh, I mean. I mean, did you, you could start with limiting it to a temp file and you can always lift it later. That seems like a non-problem. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah. So, so one of the things that I look at there is Linkat is, as it 
currently exists does not destroy the uh, the location, whatever's at the location you're trying to link at. If there's something already there, I think it gives an e-exist. Exactly. Um, yep. So we, I, in my opinion, we don't want to use link at as a rename replacement. Um, so we do actually have renamed semantics for exchanging mm -hmm. uh, files. I'm not sure whether you can pass it a temp, a temp file like that. I can't remember the exact semantics of it, but it's supposed to exchange source and destination. Um, so if you've got an actual temp file with a name in it, you can exchange the two inodes um, it, you know, basically changes the inode numbers in the directory structure. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're essentially doing a, a swap of the two files in their location. Then you unlink the, the temp file again that you created and you're all done. Um, so a version of that that can take a, a temp file file descriptor um, okay. is essentially what you're asking for. So that, that, I guess that's, that's the other question. Do we call it link at with an at replace, or do we call it some variant of rename? And yeah. it seems like a rename exchange yeah, so also re seems reasonable for yeah, this. Yeah, rename exchange is a, a, a function that we already have for rename yep. at. Mm -hmm. um, so we already have semantics for doing that sort of thing. Um, so I would suggest that rename and a slight variation on rename exchange is all that's actually needed to do this. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine with that. But, but uh, in the whole point of OTEMP file is that you don't have a name, right? So what are you exchanging it with? Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So the one complication with that is if uh, I think most of the like uh, hold on, I'm gonna pull up the man page. What? Okay. So for at least for link at when you try to do the pass it in. FD with an empty name to indicate that it's a temp file that requires root, basically. Um, Not anymore. Oh, really? OK. Merged uh, on Monday. Oh, beautiful. Well, in that case, that problem doesn't exist. So uh, it's a bit wonky in the sense that uh, it requires that the, uh, the one who does the, uh, the link at it has the same creds as the thread that uh, opened the file. Okay. But Literally the same crap because it's a per thread thing that uh, we have. But in the common case, yep. you are the, the yeah. you opened it so, and you were. So that, it, that makes it possible for completely unprivileged users to use mm -hmm. it. And I added an additional check uh, that does and is capable on the openers credentials. Uh, so if you have kept deck research in the openers, uh, user namespace because we have file fcred user ns, then you also get to do it. Okay, so then rename exchange could, if it doesn't already support the fdcwd with the empty string, could support it without privilege. And then I guess the meaning would be you're only you're swap you're exchanging it with something that doesn't have a name, which is effectively an unlink. Okay, so that saves that solves the naming bike shedding until like someone disagrees on the mailing list. But anyways, um, so the the other question that came up was uh, related to what Dave said earlier. Should should this imply durability? Uh, when when you start saying things like atomically replacing things, people assume that it's going to be durable as well. Like basically, does it imply an f sync? I don't want it to. Yeah. Uh, so I mean. It implies the same thing as rename does, yep. is that the rename operation, the directory operation, the renaming is atomic. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean anything for the data in the file. And so my comment was that when you do the rename, you're supposed to do an F-sync beforehand so yep. that you see the, you don't get uh, a crash after the rename and then you see an empty file because the rename got replayed yep. but the data never got written. Um, so yes, if it's a rename, it then just has the same atoms, atoms Words are hard. <laughs> Atomicity as uh, any other rename operation, yep. it doesn't imply that the data is synced at all. Um, you have to do the F sync before you do the rename. Yeah. So I'm happy to hear that because in that 2020 discussion, I believe both Dave and Amir were saying 
people are going to misuse this. It should have, it should imply like add atomic or we need to do the atomic thing with it or something. It sounds like we've moved past that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I think it, it, it's up to the file system, right? I mean, yeah. uh, what ext4 has done for a long time, because we know there are a lot of incompetent application yep. programmers out there is if you do a rename and you are replacing an existing file, um, mm -hmm. or if you do an open create, uh, open create o truncate when you close, we will do a file map flush. It's not a file integrity flush, right. but it means that we initiate the write back so that most of the time, mm -hmm. If you crash after a second or so, you don't lose the data. And the only reason why we did that is because otherwise we got too many complaints from people who basically had buggy applications. But it should, it's not required. No one should be you know, relying on that. Some file systems quietly do something that isn't, yep. you know, doesn't cost a whole lot and protects against a lot of really, really stupid applications. Yeah, so. I've, I've seen that yeah. heuristic. So, um, so yeah, we make no promises. And name, call, uh, making it a variant of rename, I think, makes that a little more obvious. Uh, I remember some, I knew that there was something. Um, this can't work uh, with an empty path, right? M meaning the destination is empty? So uh, maybe I've been thinking about this all wrong, but um, you removing you're removing this. Oh, you're removing the target, right? You're not yes. removing the source. Yeah. So, well, but I guess the target is always specified as a. Okay. Yep. Yeah, but what about the scenario where you do link at uh, and then you pass uh, NFD for uh, the target? Uh, does Linkit currently work with a uh, target only being specified by FD? I don't know. No, nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Forget what I said. Ignore me. You, my you may have issues uh, with replacing a directory. Um, the, the rename code has all the correct checks to do mm. that, but not the rename exchange code. Okay. So you want to use the regular rename, not the exchange one. <laughs> because you can you rename go, you exchange. You want all the checks for because the e, not dear, or uh, e. Um, yeah, because rename exchange, one? you can exchange a directory and a file. So yeah. yeah. But then. Okay. So yeah, okay, let's let's talk names. <laughs> yes, my favorite. Rename. Okay, so so what's the problem with the with the like yeah, so so we have currently two two types of rename, like normal rename which allows you to only like fire full file, basically file will overwrite file and you the directory can overwrite empty directory. Yeah, that, that's the classical rename behavior. Uh, we, have re we have rename exchange, which is basically happily swapping whatever is in there. So, so you can like swap in directory in place of a file, or you can swap in file in place of a directory. Basically, as you say, it works as an unlink, so it will like again, the directory has to be. It's it's actually interesting because if the directory is not empty, then uh, yeah, that would kind of create some interesting things because it would effectively unlink non-empty directory. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so I think it would make sense to. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so the question is actually what what. what what kind of uh, what kind of behavior you want? Whether like the ordinary name has the right semantics for you, or whether you really need something new? Yeah. I'd say 
the ordinary rename, if you try to do it over a directory, we just error out. Yeah, so, so then I think you don't need the new flag. It's just like rename it without any. Oh, yeah, you need to pass at empty to the rename, but in principle, the API is there. I'm not sure if it is implemented, if you can do it like these days, but in principle, the API. So you're saying we don't even need a new flag. We just make rename yeah. transparently do it if it gets a temp file? Yeah. yeah. OK. So, so at least that seems to me like that, that should work. And yeah, it's uh, resembling actually link at. The source is an M at empty. Mm -hmm. So rename will allow a source that's at empty. What? Just like you work in the same patches. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the problem. That's what I did last time. <laughs> um, the, so the other minor thing that came up was uh, making the decash handle this was actually kind of difficult. Um, I think what I ended up, my first version, I did something that Alice said was horribly wrong. So my second version, I just made it drop the, the, the den tree for the destination and file system could deal with it later. Um, so that I'll probably need to just track down Al and Christian and figure out what the the right way to do it. Because with Exchange, I think Exchange works because you do have the two dentries you can swap around. Um, but I guess for OTEMP file, we we do have a dentry. It's just like a dummy unlinked dentry, right? One, hmm. what I keep uh, coming back to is there was a patch set to add um, at empty path support to uh, unlink at because it seems like a natural thing to want. Mm -hmm. uh, and not just is it difficult to get right. Isn't it supported? No. No, no, you can't. You can't. The thing is, in order to delete a, delete a file, uh, you need permissions against the directory it's in. So if you do at empty path, you suddenly can delete. If you get an SDM writes file descriptor sent to you that refers to a file, and you can suddenly pass it to unlink at, you can unlink that file without checking permissions against its uh, directory. That's at least one of the problems uh, with allowing at empty path. No, I'm, I'm talking about the source. Maybe I'm confused. Yeah, I think that wouldn't be a problem in this case, because uh, the thing you're clobbering is the destination, which I think for rename, we don't support at empty path anyways. But we're worried about passing, em or we want to support passing an at empty path for, uh, for the source. So it's same arguments, different Cisco. Yeah, so I think we just simply need to be very careful about what um, rename at will do if we pass in at empty path and the file descriptor is not an OTEMP file, yeah. but an already existing file, right? And that's the place where, you know, mm. it's not really a rename because we're not gonna actually change the directory entry of the source, right? If it's, if it's a real file and not an OTEMP file. Yeah, well, that's actually easy to tell because uh, an OTEMP file has the I link flag or whatever it is on the inode. So when you, we, you pass the file descriptor and you get the inode from it, it has a flag on it that tells you that it's an OTEMP file, um, that it needs linking into the, the directory. If it doesn't have that flag, it's an error. So yeah, the yeah. question, so the answer to that second question, should we limit it to OTEMP yeah. file, is yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. There's no use case yes. for it outside of temp files. Yes. Yeah. So going back to the flag thing, though, I mean, uh, rename at has its own set of flags. You can't. Can can you? Do they collide with at empty path? You can just do what you can just do what MoveMount did, where you define your own. Like MoveMount has MoveMount target, MoveMount source, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the the flags are not at flags; they're renamed flags. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I mean that's just that's a minor. That's just the name of the thing. Yeah. Okay. So to summarize. Yes. Yes. Rename, not link at. Don't need a flag, probably. No. 
You want it, you want a flag. Yeah, it should it just be it should just be called sure. like rename temp file. Uh, temp file or rename uh, source empty path is another way you could name it if you want it to be generic, even if it only allows temp files. But yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, something like that. Source or S or whatever, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, not to. <laughs> yeah. Theoretically, there's still someone out there who could ask for. They want to keep the source and. I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna go there. So we'll we'll leave it at this. This seems doable. <laughs> All right. Thanks.